Uh, hello, hello everyone. Um, this is Ariel. Yeah, I'm me <laughs> Um, yeah, I I'm uh, I'm making an animation with GIMP. Uh, it's called Zumamat. Um, so me, yeah, I'm I'm one of the developers of GIMP. Okay. Mm -hmm. So t today we will show you a, a small um, uh, workshop about uh, using GIMP for for retouching. So it's nothing. We are, it's not a, a workshop like about fancy new features or something. Like that. It's just like it's basics of retouching. How how does it work and everything. Okay, it's loosely based on a much longer. Yep. Um, Course uh, that uh, Ariam has been giving in, in uh, public university in France. Uh, so it's of course m much shorter because it's like one hour and uh, normally it's like 16 hours. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I uploaded two image files uh, on the link. If you... Yep. Here, or you can check on the chat. Yeah. I uploaded the link. So film.zamamo.net slash lgm 2020 and here you can have some you will have two two files uh, two images so if you if you want to to play um, you know, together with us uh, so our exercise images are like these images Oops. Yeah. when I start the uh, retouch image. Uh, I always copy the original. Okay, uh, we will remove these cracks. Uh, easily, uh, we can use the clone tool. Yeah, uh, before, we, uh, if you have a tablet, um, check input device and your Tablet mode is screen. On screen to use this. If if it the pressure or something uh, not work, it's because of this this one. Maybe like if if it's like this, it doesn't work. Okay. You you can do most retouching without tablets, but. It's also very practical to have a tablet and to to have like you know pressure and moving, changing the size of opacity with the pressure. Yeah, and if you have tablet again, uh, you can change the dynamic. Dynamic is uh, the brush option or a, a, any any type of the uh, I don't how to say the clone or brush or uh, not. On the ink, all the painting yeah, tools. all the painting tools. So there is a dynamics, and you you can change. Uh, I recommend uh, pressure size yeah, like this, or more pencil generic like that. I, I made my own dynamic, so I use this. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, I, I will use a uh, clone. I will make I, I duplicated the original image and I I will make a new layer uh, and uh, of course we can do uh, cloning directly on the um, on the this image like this but I I will make New layer to um, to modify easier, modify easier, easier. Mm -hmm. yeah, like basically, don't touch. I mean, even if you already duplicated it, when you can, you just want to work on on a new layer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and okay. If someone can't, oh, uh, anyway, uh, clone. How to use clone is uh, with control. You click um, control click and then you can I go you can cloning image from here like this 
Uh, so yeah, and you control, control like this, and uh, I made a layer, and uh, there is some sample mask on the tool option. There is sample mask. If you, if it's not checked, uh, you cannot. If it's not checked, you cannot copy. So by default, it uses uh, the same the current layer as a source, and like you write there, and it's a source. But with sample merge, the source is like what you see. Yes, even there so it allows to work on another yeah. layer while seeing stuff from the other layers. Okay, so. Um, I will try to remove this stuff. Maybe. Okay. Click sample. But you can see the the brush is very um brush's edge is strong, so um, uh, it's not really natural. So I will change the brush a little bit soft. Uh, I change the um, source quite a lot because uh, in, if I don't change much, it looks uh, really stamped, stamped, stamped. Mm. So. Or you can make opacity down if you need. So, what I just said, I know it's it's important. I don't know if you can see well, but she's like always changing the source of the clone. She doesn't like just stick to one source and and move all the and uh, like I keep it, but then you will create like patterns or like uh, always you reproduce always the same thing so she just always changes source and I check the is it I did I write or not well I change the opacity to make it Softly, how to say, softly short, change it. Mm. So I don't know if you see, Ariam is like is constantly like checking the original, mm. comparing because like you don't want to work for like one hour and then you you compare and like because you realize. When you're in, into it, you, you don't see maybe something weird. But then when you always compare, compare, you can't see like anything which is bad, and which is like it doesn't look like it belongs to the image. And there is uh, some uh, paint bro a brush. How to say it's a stroke brush texture like this. So um, I'm trying to make it continue. Okay, maybe can can you zoom on this just to show? Yeah, I like, can show is uh, like mm -hmm. here is what mm -hmm. I am saying that here there is like you can see like the, the, the paint the, the actual I mean the physical brush that the painter used back then. You can see like it it makes like lines. Yeah, and you don't want to lose this if if you're doing like. Retouching, it's not you're not going to make flat color, so you want to keep. So she's trying to keep this, yeah, but to keep yeah. this feeling of, of brush. It's not really easy, but I'm trying. Yeah. Maybe some people 
do like this. Uh, I use brush and pick color and just color it like this. But it, it, you can see it's a very, it, you lose every texture and like this. So, can I control it? So, also, like I see some on the chat, so some people they are like they don't understand where mm -hmm. you click. Yeah. So, it's it's a bit hard to explain. You can you can see when when where the source is when she moves here. Mm -hmm. So she control click somewhere and it just it becomes a source. Control. Yep. And if it's, maybe I I will show. So what what does they don't understand why you click. Click uh, is uh, okay, just example. Uh, I draw a star and I copy. I want to copy it with a clone. Uh, control is make a sample, make a uh, point. Yep, click. And then I draw it. Yep. It's not, I, I'm copying right now, like that. And if I click here, I my copy start from here. You can see the um, uh, the control click point move together with my with my mouse moving. But I, I will show you uh, just the, the tools simply. So maybe yeah, try it yourself. And if you have any question, uh, yeah, make a little bit bigger size. And I okay, we, we are trying because it's bigger. So to to fix the the, um, the um, how do you call it the cracks crack? the crack the crack yeah. So she takes like on the side. Yeah. A source and pretty close to, to, to the crack, yeah. not far because then you don't you think it's the same color when it's far, but sometimes it's it's very different. You just it's like illusion where it's, it's not the same color. Yeah. Uh, so usually you take a, a source very close. Yeah, and I change the opacity and then make it smaller. Okay. Oh, oh, yep. Wait, I think the opacity make up it blurry. Yep. So a little bit I don't like it. Okay. So it's it's kind of a, if if I click here I copy this part. This one is you understand right now, or it's actually the same. Like we select, and uh, I I made too much bit. Select here and copy. I I copy with the uh, control alt. Ah uh, yeah, I I copied this layer so I copy here I. Control shift, I alt shift, and do it like this. It's the same, but is the clone is a bit, uh, much easier and much natural too. Yeah, I continue. Here it looks like a little bit like just like this, a little, little, little bit. Typically, this kind of feature in, in like photography or whatever, like. When when you erase someone in front of a building or, or all this kind of stuff, or you you have a photograph and you have a crack on the wall or anything you want to erase, usually they use this. So, 
So you can um you can use this tool um or maybe uh, if you took a photo and uh, um a hair is on your face and then you want to remove the hair and you can cloning uh, the skin and put on uh, put on put on the hair and then you can make it fix yeah. okay right now I will I will show you uh, maybe another another tool uh, it's a wavelet de decomposer okay so I duplicated in my image and go to filter and enhance and wavelet decompose okay I click here click and then you can uh, choose the number okay i will show you maybe three and then you can see okay. like this thing so basically wavelength decompose is kind of like decompose you get the exact same result as the original layer, but it decomposes the, 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 the pixel data in like details. If you like show only residual, for instance, like what's it called residual, like it's basically it's very blurry. Like see only scale three, like, and then scale two. And you can see like it goes into, into details. Mm. Okay, I will show you if I choose five, I think it's like frequency analysis or something like that. Five. Okay, right now it's more blurry. I compare this one and this one. The, I, there is more scales. Five, I choose five, so it's a five scales and color. And this one is I choose three, so three scales and color. And so but I think um, I think maybe four is perfect, but I will just try with three because we don't have that much time. Okay, so I delete this one. So you can see there is a gray merge. Every gray scales has the, has the mode gray gray merge. And this one is normal. And then, right now, uh, I will remove. Okay. I will remove. Yep. This. This crap. Okay. So I will check. Okay. So just uh, like uh, just to answer a question mm -hmm. we had uh, on the chat. Uh, someone asked Raymond and asked if the recent resynthetizer will speed the job like to like uh, oh, fix the broken paint with artificial intelligence. So this kind of tools are always, of course, useful. But like as you saw, like for instance, earlier was when they were like you could see like the the brush stroke of. Um, of the original painting, all this kind of stuff, and you want to keep this. So it's always like, uh, like the question is more like how much time do you want to spend on it and how perfect do you want to do it? If you do all like all the automatic fixing features, they are very extremely cool, but they usually don't think like a human being. And what, what Alien does is like, She's actually trying like to, to, to keep all the little details, which makes this painting what it is. It's mm. it's very different. Okay. So 
So okay, we we can see a little bit crack here, but not that much. But I will make it. Okay, here also we use clone or brush. I, I will. There's a little bit more detail, so I I I prefer use clone. clone. If if you don't uh, if you don't know uh, what is your uh, the shortcut, you can check on the keyboard shortcuts and clone, and then uh, I I put it S. I don't know is it default or not because I changed a lot of keyboard shortcuts. So yeah, check it and use it. So, and and if you click, if you double click the um, tool, and then there is a tool option uh, showing show up. Tool option show up. Okay, and again go to layer, and the brush is too big. So okay, and I click here. We need a more soft brush. One of the very nice thing with um, this, this feature so wave late decompose is like you can actually be somehow much faster by identifying only the styles where you have to work, but and you don't actually need to be as accurate sometimes because you you it's mm -hmm. the, the pixel are, is composed of all these layers and you can actually be faster even if you have more more layers to work on. You can do it faster. I don't know if if, if it's clear, but uh, uh, I mean very, very commonly this. Uh, oh yeah, and also you can like really kind of work on um, because since it like kind of breaks the pixel into details, the image into details, uh, you can work, for instance, only on the color by not touching at all the texture or the opposite like work on the texture and like keep the color untouched and uh, so as we want to keep this texture this grain and uh, that's something which is important that's that's uh, something also which is very nice you can see there is a little cubes cube like this pixels uh, if uh, we remove all the texture like this cube and then uh, the result will be blurry, very blurry. So I, if um, if it's possible, I keep uh, the textures even in the grain mode layer. Okay. Okay, and I don't know is it. So yeah, that's I'm very checking. important. What I am saying is that like you don't want to. I mean to. Even if sometimes a grain or something, it can be like it's not the reality of uh, the subject or whatever. In this image, it is. So you want to keep what makes this image this image. You don't want to make all the colors flat. Or um, and the point also is not to fix the original painting. It's to to repair it, to make it as it was before. Like probably with whatever technique was used on the painting. It's. Uh, yeah, and then it won't look wrong. I I'm using a lot of shortcuts. So if you are if you are curious, uh, uh, what is the shortcut or something like that, maybe, yeah, um, yeah, you can. Uh, for example, if zoom and out is a contour and middle scroll. And uh, to move is a middle click, middle scroll click, middle click, and uh, move the the mouse mm, like that. Okay, yeah, I'll check the original. Okay. So yeah, I change a bit here, and well, and I here. Is uh, if if I sh if I do with a clone, uh, I should is um, I think it's 
there is a lot of colors like that and I should make a lot of copy how to say co uh, 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 well, well, I, uh, it's a very yeah. accurate job. <laughs> so I, I will use uh, here. I, I, I will fix here also with the uh, wavelet decompose. Um, okay. Right now I am using clone, but if um, you made a more scans and the image is very blurry and then you can just use a brush, it's, it doesn't really matter, I think. Yeah, right now, there's too many details on the color, so it's a little bit difficult to fix. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I really important thing I forgot really important thing is uh, save 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 you have to save yeah. okay This one is I can see. Uh, and I yes, and on the clone option there is a uh, it's a tool option of clone, and there is alignment. If you click none. It's always go to the how to say restart from the sample. It always stay here, but if you click align, it always follow. You can see the sample is following you, your mouse. So it depends on what you want. You can change the option. So I'm I'm using none right now. Okay. So here, I'm not sure how detailed you get this all this image, but like you can see, like really, like the the paint. Um, I mean, the, the, the drawing, and you must not uh, break, break this. So that's why she is like very detailed, and she's trying to use a source, like really a part which looks like the part she wants to fix. You cannot just take a random source and just like uh, make like some brush. Um, it, it's she's so that's why she's changing all the time. Also, so I don't know if you can see. Actually, uh, this this the wavelet decompose has also a weak point. It's a because it's um, every single layer we have to touch, so it takes more time. I think right now, okay, com compare the crack looks 
um, week. I don't know how to say the software. And yeah, two. Maybe for some people, uh, just directly use clone uh, on the um, image. It, it, the, the this image, the, this image directly cloning um, image, uh, cloning. cloning. It, it will be uh, it, it will be easier for some someone. It's uh, there is no right answer. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, just only on uh, it's the uh, way, it's way of several way. Yeah. Looks quite good. There is also something you want to pay attention. Uh, I noticed this when uh, students don't really understand all the concept of, of um, uh, wavelet decompose. It's like basically, like you see, uh, the residual re res residual layer. Is like kind of blurry, and actually you don't want to make it sharp. And on the opposite, like all the scales, you don't want to make them blurry because then the uh, well, you can you can try if you make the residual sharp uh, or you make uh, the I you. scales uh, blurry, it will be completely wrong. Yeah, I I I I I will use a hard, very hard brush and clone. And then I made a very, I cloned, but if there is a circle, and then you can see the circle right like this. Wow. Yeah. So, if I do like this, more, yep. Yep. Well, if, if you see the uh, far, from afar, and uh, if you see far, then you can't see it very well. But if you see close, it's, uh, it's not really good, looking good. So uh, I want to keep the image below. Like this. So can you try it? Mm. Uh, click some layers. Mm. Click, Layer. so. click, click. Um, what? Okay. Uh, okay. So someone like PP Silva on the chat was like uh, uh, asking if it's normal that uh, layer modes on the three scales are legacy. 
uh, well, I have no idea. Maybe it can uh, it can be done on. I mean, it's a script which sets it like this. So uh, because they are like the legacy mods. Oh. But uh, probably if we don't, if we make them on non-legacy, now they will be different. Um, ah, you change. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Mm. But probably yeah, it, it should be like maybe the script should be should. Uh, uh, Wave decompose script should be updated to to use um, uh, new mods. Okay. Anyway, yep. Oh, well, I think. Oh, we have time. Mm. Yeah, there's more time. Okay. So, okay, here is easier, I think. I will. Yep. I will use more. T and I just delete it like that. I'm keeping the texture with a clone. Yeah. That's very important. Always like keep the texture, keep the grain or whatever you call it. If it looks flat at the end, it, it's wrong. This part is easier. Like this point is I'll try okay. one of the most common usage. I mean, if you look for for wavelet decompose on the web. The most common usage probably is like uh, uh, skin retouching. It's like every tutorial uh, ever on the web about wavelet decompose is about skin retouching. So that's that's uh, very common. Okay. I'm not hit this one. This one fine. And this one. There is a little. Bit. Don't have time, so it looks like very blurry right right now here because I didn't uh, change uh, the color here. So right now I change color here and this part is our only color so if you want I think you can use brush too I will try it with a brush 
this, but I, I, I will keep um, picking colors and it ma make a similar color. And op with opacity, I will make a little more naturally change the color. Someone has asked if there is like multi selection layer on, on this build, and uh, yes, uh, it has. <laughs> but, uh, you, you probably don't have this one, but that's also why we had a crash earlier. Probably, it's it's very unstable build. Color is not a really good I take a little bit uh, with a very low opacity and I make a little bit color. And then, okay, and let's. Ta da! Uh, like it's you can good. see, it's it's very nice because it's like like as all like kind of grain. It's like you, you can see the paint. It's not like flat colors. Of course, here also, uh, I, I don't have time. <laughs> yep. It's too big. It's too up. Okay. Um, You can change hardness here if you need. Can use a um, smudge tool, and if we do a smudge tool, it like this. We can smudge line, and I double click here, and there is a force. Yep. If it's a strong, like this is not strong it doesn't really work that much so choose your choose strong as the force and mix a bit maybe add this yep Okay, and here
now. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> it's not perfect, but yeah. Are eyes getting tired? Oh, it's something else. Oh, no, no, okay. Well, well, well. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we, we can use the uh, wave uh, com decompose like this. Uh, and uh, maybe we can show another thing. Um, oh, sure, sure, again. Yeah. It's like before, after. Before, after. Before and okay, after. Before and we, we changed here a little bit. I didn't really, I, I can see the crack a little bit yet. But here it looks like I go. It, yeah. And the nose also. Not I didn't hear but yeah. Look good. Uh, knocking here. Yeah, the, the, someone asks the uh, knocking uh, is the sound of the pen it, it is indeed. Oh okay. <laughs> Yes. Actually, someone asked, uh, like, asked about multi selection and like to show off. Actually, we did show show it just before when we changed uh, the modes of several layers uh, uh, together mm -hmm. like this, and we can just but that's okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, just just put it then back. Mm -hmm. And this one is normal, should be normal. I don't know, the other one should be. Anyway, that's uh, it was not really the point here. Mm -hmm. match, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we, we want to show the, the dolphin. Oh, we have three minutes. No, 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 we have thirty more minutes. Oh really? Yes. So okay. we we don't have a lot of time, but uh, organizers told us that we can do it a bit longer. So we will continue if. If you want to stay around and have a look, so that's that's another image. It's like the one before was like a church of uh, Nerezi or something like that. Yeah. The, the image we found on, on Wikipedia. Uh, so like yeah, domain public images from Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. And uh, and okay, and this uh, one is like a palace of Knossos, and like it's kind of a very old image of dolphins. Okay, I duplicate image and I save. Let's save. Okay, let's start. You can see she always duplicates the image like first, like first thing. You always keep uh, the original. It's not only because you want to keep the original because you can always bring it back anyway. It's also because you want to compare. You always want to compare with the original. You, you like it's 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 important. I don't know if you see also like I am when, when she's editing, it's you can feel a little dizzy because she's always zooming in, zooming out, and uh, uh, switching and layers and everything. That's because she always like need to get a lot of point of views or like closer uh, um, from far away and like compare the original. It's like it's very important stuff on retouching. Mm. Okay, maybe. Uh, I, let's uh, put the tail. Let's make this tail. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. I will. I will copy this tail. Maybe a little bit bigger. Like this. And then, uh, and on the select option you can see the feather edge feather edges uh, if it's um, right now I, I will check um, with the king mask king mask is a cube control cube shift, shift, cube, shift. shift cube yep and then the red one is I didn't select it and white one is I selected uh, again if you um, uh, do a shift 
queue again, and then you come back to the normal world. So you can see it's, it's uh, blurry. It's because I checked feeder edges, and I, I will try no feeder edges. Yep. Select and go to pin mask, and then you can see the very stri uh, straight, very sharp, a sharp edge. Okay, so I and if it's a very big entity, and then you can see very, 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 there is a lot of gradation. Okay, so. I will make a little bit feeder and copy it, maybe not here. With the control, you can uh, remove the selection. And uh, control C. Yep, control C and control V or like this and make a new layer. It's a floating layer, we call it. And if if we uh, anchor, if we click anchor, it stick on on the image. But control Z, control Z, control Z. Um, if we click uh, this one, create a new layer, and then it make own uh, layer. And we can bring it here, or uh, also we can copy it. I select here this like this, and um, Alt Shift and move. And then you, it's a, it's exactly the same. A Control C, Control V, but it is is more pra practic practic. Mm -hmm. Mm. When you walk a lot on the canvas, you, like whereas that control C, control V, you make a selection and just Alt Shift and you move and you direct. It's like it's much faster. Mm. And directly, I can I do I do control T. I don't know what with uh, your shortcut, but unified transform tool. Click and. It's very lucky because the size is similar, very right the size. Actually, I will remove this part because I want to save the original as much as I can. So I will just focus a little bit here and enter. Okay, and make a create a new layer. Okay. Um, and back up a little bit. I will erase. Yep. So it's also very important when you do some retouching. If you have something broken, like it can be in a photography or whatever here in a painting, you want to fix what's broken, but you don't want to fix over what's not broken. So that's why, like here, she really she removes the part of the tail, which uh, like she only, she needs to absolutely keep as much of the original as possible. Mm. Yeah, and um, maybe uh, this this here and this color is a little different, so. Um, uh, maybe let's try to. I, I want to show you the sem color sample, how to use color sample. So let's try to make it the um, 
the color is similar. Uh, so it's yellow, it's a little bit orange. Uh, I don't know, I think the, the yellow one is um, the clean one, but to show you the color sample, just I will make this one uh, to make similar uh, this here, this part. So um, to use color sample, uh, ruler, on the ruler, if you can't see the ruler, uh, you can check the... Um, uh, where it is? Oh, here. Show rulers. Yep. And with control, click and drag. And make a sample point here. One. And I will... I want to make this color uh, looks like this color. So uh, click, uh, control, click, drag, and here. And then I open color sample point. It's uh, here on the any any tab, the triangle, small triangle, add add tab. And sample points here. And then you can see the color, one color, two color here. And we will change the uh, HSV color mode. And we will check the value. This one is color, temperature, I think. And this is saturation, and this one is um, value. So, okay. And uh, with the color picker tool, you can change the point like this. And, um, uh, the val uh, make a similar value to of them one like this I think it's, it's uh, not bad maybe no, is it really similar is if it's really similar is better but but yeah yeah I just well okay you want to make sure you are like on on like two points that you want to have the same color like right? just in case you're not on the right pixel or whatever mm -hmm. so yeah if it's very different maybe is is um another color change a lot so okay and then i go to rgb there's two oh, i will choose this one mm -hmm. and I want to make this one to this one. So check RGB. I open the curve, color, curves. And yep, do this. Red. And value, red. If you click here, you can see, I. I if I want to change this color, and then I click here, but I want to change this color, so I click here, and I compare with this part, and okay, my color is here, the red point is here, so click here, and uh, 228, down 228, I, Use the um, keyboard. Okay, and got green. Green also. Here is uh, the value. So click here and uh, go down. Like, uh, yep. And blue. Click and go up. Perfect. 
No, no, it's not perfect. I saw, I saw another value. Yep. Okay. I don't know. I think yeah, actually, it's not very. It's cool. not really... I think we didn't take the right points. Well, it, it, it's not really looks. Uh... <laughs> Cancel, cancel. Cancel? Let's try again. Okay, well, again, okay. Mm. I think closer points. Well, this is too yellow, I think. Um, okay. Yeah, maybe here. Yeah. And value. Very. Close here. And again, change energy green and color color. Much nicer. Mm, maybe. Like sh short before. Oh yeah. Yeah. So here it's it's not very nice because this is uh, this should be fixed. It's this part is actually too too yellow. It's like all too the energy. Orange, yeah. So that's why. You, but actually, if you just check the other parts, it's they are much closer. Close. Mm, yeah. So really. It's Really, little bit different, but well, yeah, it can, I I will control that, control that, and uh, undo it, undo it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, this one is better. A little bit, really, really, little bit different. I'm not so sure, like how to clean mm -hmm. this. Okay, and uh, okay, but this one. Okay, here is very yellow or, or orange I think uh, I, I, I think uh, like this part is difficult to change colors I will just try to use um, uh, wavelet again and I don't know which one will be better. It. I will make a new layer, normal layer, and I will try to brush here, and it looks it's very hard, so I not and make maybe opposite it, so a little bit down. And eraser opposite here is a little down.
check. Uh, it changed a little bit. Can, can you see everyone on the on the left how how she kind of cleaned the yeah, yellow? It, well, it's not really perfect, but yeah, like this, you can change the color. Um, so it's pretty nice because we have like decompose like on the residual part you kind of really work on the color because usually it does most of the color. Mm. So. Um, you must keep it blurry uh, and like it's kind of really you can really like like work only on the color part without kind of breaking all the details and uh, all the texture and all the grain everything mm -hmm. Also, this image is a very good example of why, like, uh, artificial intelligence or like all, all the trained algorithms, they won't work well because, like, here there is a big hole, and like to fill to fill it, well, I, you you have to to you, like use your brain well. For instance, uh, all the small kind of, I don't know if it's waves, but we call them the waves, uh, the blue strings. Uh, on these pictures, um, at first, like, like students, when they see this, they just want, like, you know, to, to make co copy paste them randomly. But we can say that it's uh, we're saying, like, no, like you can see it's like really it's it's a network. They are all linked together, and if you have to to fix this, to fix the whole uh, 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 bottom left part, you have to basically recreate this network thing by yourself of course you have to imagine a bit because uh, it's just too much lost but you cannot just like do it randomly and same for the fishes and everything and uh yeah it's it's uh you, you if you want to kind of recreate it like it might have been uh hundreds of years ago or I don't know how old it was, uh, and you you have you have to use your brain, and you cannot just use like algorithm. Mm. So we have some comments from Link Morph who says like. He wants to use some of, to apply some of his techniques to video game textures to fix block uh, compression artifacts. Um, it's probably a very good idea. This kind of techniques can be used in a lot of lot, lot of uh, cases. I use this like this way and. Uh, where can I print? Brain function. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants a brain function in GIMP. Well, yeah. you have to use your own, it doesn't come with <laughs> the brain. Well, well, well. Okay. Mm. Also, like a, a question which you might have with this kind of stuff, as it like kind of created the composition of the whole. Um, image when you want to mix techniques well if if it's if actually like if you use clone on other part of the image just on the normal image and uh, and uh, decompose uh wavelength like decompose on some part of the image you of course you can uh, if it's on its own layer just the clone part you can put it above it but you can also like when you 
if you clone directly on the original image, you, you may use mask actually. Like you can add a, a, a layer mask on the decomposition group to show what's below. So maybe maybe you can you can make a, a, you can show this make, like if you make the fix on this. Mm -hmm. Fix on this. Like or something. Do some fix somewhere. Some on the clone with the clone or whatever. Mm. Okay. Yeah. For instance, here if she clones this, but then she shows the decomposition, and a fix is not showing. So like here, she can ask at the layer mask. Layer mask, yeah. Or shift click on here or here, and. I will select here because I fixed here. You can see it. And I click here. If you click here, the white box is up here. Here, white box, white box, white box. And I selected the mask layer. And so. Fit it. Oops, oops. Yep. If I, I go to the mask layer or inside, show layer mask, and then we can see the black one. The black one is a uh, make a hole, but it's a fake hole. It's not real hole so, um, on the layer. So we can see uh, below. Yeah, below. Layer mask is like kind of like own personal selection for a layer. And if I disable layer mask, the original image is uh, still here. I didn't delete it. I didn't delete. Uh, and uh, yeah, so like this. Uh, Or just uh, we can make a layer, a new layer, and we can do like this also. And, yeah. uh, actually, I, I prefer the for one hour <laughs> workshop. <so. laughs> I feel a little bit long right now. Okay, uh, and then uh, maybe like, I can show you uh, the gradation selection. If you want uh, there's a select tool. Uh, there's a lot of selection tool, um, and you can also um, use alpha to selection. Uh, what well, uh, that is, if I draw something uh, uh, yep, like this, and then uh, I click, I, I right click on the layer. And alpha to selection, click. I show again, uh, right click, and alpha to selection, click. And then um, every alpha, uh, every pixel on the on this layer select. Even uh, they have the opacity value. So for example, okay, I. I copy this this layer with this selection, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, yep, and make a new layer to see it. Ta -da. So like like this, uh, we can use gradation. Also, I will make a new layer and make gradation but not this one because it's white also pixel so wait gradation to option go to gradation to option and we can choose the um, transparent parent one and choose like this and so i i made the gradation like this 
and right click our factor selection click and okay. I can do whatever for example uh, I will make a copy again and maybe I can change the color colors and hue saturation and I change the hue so to see exact, I make it a little bit stronger and select none and then you can remove the selection. Okay. So it select, I selected gradation so the, the change also have gradation. It's a, yeah. You can ap apply this kind of techniques on like uh, on filters and uh, basically everything. Basically, you make you can make much more complicated selections than just like uh, squares or, mm. or 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 even with a free select tool. It's it's you can make gradation selection and everything. And so, like sometimes I am, even when drawing, she will like make selections so, uh, and like apply some filters on them or like gradation selection or you can fix colors in photograph for instance like typically there are some photographs uh, where like uh, you have like yellow, yellow part on the, and it's like really a gradation yellow and you can actually uh, fix this in, in a like, kind of reverse gradation with the curves, for instance, or like various color tools on the other direction. Not sure it's clear, but it's, like, it's kind of a bit of advanced usage, but there's a kind of stuff you can, you can do to, to fix um, well, a lot of images. And also you can uh, go to a mask, like uh, Queen Mask. King mask uh, shift Q and you can fix the you can fix the the selection again. I I add I'm adding the gradation like this. Yep. And go back to normal word. And maybe I will change it. Um, again, the hue saturation, color hue saturation, and maybe I can change the value a little bit, lightness a little bit, saturation a little bit down, up, like this, okay, and selection, none, so, it's a little bit a uh, lot, but you can see uh, it changes. Uh, I'll say uh, entirely. Mm. Mm. Like you, sh you change the uh, hue and like the colors, but with a gradation. So, yeah, so. On the, like on mm. here on the bottom left, and like. Mm. If it's uh, not gradation, and it's like this and if I changed okay. there is a feeder I se I, I selected with feeder so you can't see really much but Oh wait, select, select tool. Again, if there is no feather edge, it looks like really I changed this part to this part. Yep. Yeah, like this. And it, I, I, to show you, I, I did a little bit extremely. Uh, yeah, so but if it, here is a gradation, a little bit looks uh, natural. Yeah, I think the time is. Yeah. Anyone has questions? Yeah. Last questions. 
before before we go. It's our cap. Okay. So everybody followed well, or you guys understood us, uh, the uh, or <laughs> yeah, the kind of questions. Wow. Okay, so apparently we Thank have you. a record of viewers with 65 viewers at, at one point. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's like a score. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so like brain and cat question, cat functions in GIMP are the best, indeed. So okay, so maybe if nobody has any question, we can we can leave it uh, as is. Yeah. Um, uh, are we okay. Sure? Thank you. I learned a lot from PR course, and uh, yeah. yeah, no problem. Thank you for the sorry again for the technical issues. No problem. Uh, uh, yeah. I want to show our face, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, and uh, have a nice evening. Yeah, nice evening, everyone. <laughs> goodbye. Bye bye.